Hello world, we're going to continue doing some introduction to Inventor, and this time we're going to make a rectangular pattern. So we just got done making the cube, or maybe you skipped that one and you're going to come back to it later, that's okay. Whenever we start something new, we're going to hit File, and then New, and then we're using the English and the standard where it says IN, that's inches, and then the .ipt means you're making a part file. We'll go over all of this stuff a little bit later. Hit Create. All right, we got to start a new sketch. We're going to start right here on the bottom with the YZ plane. Click on that. Grab a rectangle. Just in case you don't have a rectangle, like up here on the top left, if you hit this down arrow, there's all kinds of different stuff. So we're going to hit rectangle. We're going to start at the origin, and we're going to move our way out. And you can just draw a rectangle um, however you feel. Dimensions don't matter right this second. Go ahead and click that. Grab your dimension, click on this line on the left, and then we're going to click it again, and we're going to make that one inch. So I'm going to type one and hit the green arrow. Then I'm going to double tap that center mouse roller or zoom out a little bit by rolling it. Click the dimension again, click on the top line, click there, and make this 3.5. Okay, another thing you can do is roll out, um, or you can even click right here where it says top, that kind of zooms in. Okay, I forgot one thing. I don't want to make this one, I want to make it one and a half. So to change that, all you need to do is double click it, it pops up, and we're going to make that 1.5, and click the green arrow or hit enter. All right, go ahead and finish that sketch. Double click to zoom out and click extrude. Okay, we're going to actually make a 2x4 board. So let's make this 6 feet, uh, but that's not in feet, that's in inches. So if we just make a feet sign, which is one dash right there, you can see that it just changed it to 72 inches. Hit OK. Zoom out, you can see it. And then what we'll do, we'll go up here and we'll change where it says generic and scroll all the way down to wood and we're going to make this oak wood. And you can see it changes the color. And if I zoom in, you can also see the grain. So you just learned how to make a rectangular pattern, proper dimensions, and also extrude it um, and make it change the material. So you also... So you just learned how to make a rectangular pattern and change the materials so you have something a little bit more realistic. So hit File, Save As. We're going to put this in our Start folder. And we're just going to call this Wood, and again, your first initial and your last name. Hit Save. Good job.